him. I want to watch the news. Are you making are you making headway at least? This is the news. Schmackamagabit, it's time for the only news that matters. When Alex and Eddie Van Halen first started their band, the sound uh, they would try to achieve was immediately evident. With their playing techniques and attitude, they could pack the music full of energy, which was one of the standout elements that helped them become so recognizable. The energy was only added to when David Lee Roth joined the band in 1974. And I think he had an unbelievable uh, vocals and excellent stage presence, which made him the perfect person to front the band. Uh, from there, Van Halen would conquer the world, taking their ear-splitting, face-melting sound to fans from around the globe. Together, they wrote six albums with Lee Roth in the 80s and 70s as the vocalist, which was fundamental uh, for cementing the band as rock icons. Some have highs and others have lows, but the be-all and end-all is that each album took the band somewhere further and contributed to the legacy that they still hold. Uh, during an interview, David Roth was asked which of the albums was his favorite. Uh, not an easy question for a fan, let alone a band singer, but he still had an answer, which would coincide with many of his listeners' opinions, including mine. He said the first one. He said, that's the one that came no mind. It happened because we played for years in the clubs and in the bars. That's where you really sharpen that without thinking, you know. You're playing to make the mortgage. You know, what the hell is he talking about here? Dave is just so wacky. He goes all over the place. But, you know, at least he answered the question that, uh, you know, it was the first one. Let me read a little more later on. He says, when you're off book, when you're so off book, it means you don't have to read the script. You know every syllable and you don't think about it all. What's he talking about? Your mind is somewhere else entirely. No mind. You know, you become the studio and you play the music. Your whole mind is where the music is gonna be and where it's gonna sound. But later on, it's your career. <laughs> Jeez, man. Let me finish this. <clears throat> you will be tempted, if not completely induced, to play the studio like it was a musical instrument. Wow, what's that button? Listen, listen, listen. It echoes. Echo, echo. Seriously, this is stuff David Lee Roth is telling the press. Uh, yeah, he's whacked out, man. Poor Dave. You know, he can't... He can't he can never give you a straight answer. He gets he got to get all, you know, I don't know, philosophical for a guy that got hit in the head by a piano. But I happen to agree with him. You know, I'm a huge Van Halen fan of the the magnificent seven albums that they did with Dave. But I will say, um, yeah, it's the first album. Most Van Halen fans. Believe it or not, and it's so weird because it's the one that sold the least. It's fair warning. That's most people's favorite. It's, it didn't sell as well as all the others, which is crazy. I think Van Halen 3 and Different Kind of Truth may be the... Well, no, I know, I'm sure. You know, because I know it sold 2 million back then. And that was a, considered a flop, you know, when uh, you're dealing with Van Halen records, you know. <clears throat> but um, I love fair warning. You know, and I love my Van Halen albums in that order. You know, my favorite is the first one. Then it's the second one. Then it's Women and Children First. Then it's Fan Favorite, Fair Warning. So far, let me tell you, not one bad song on any of those albums. Okay? And then Diver Down. I love every song on there, too. Yes, even Big Bad Bill. Love everything on there. Then 1984. So far, out of all the Van Halen records, 1984 is the only one that has 
a song I don't like. And that is the intro. I don't like 1984. I don't like it at all. And then a different kind of truth. I love every song on there. So they have a perfect uh, discography. But I don't like the 1984, uh, that intro. Now, you know, as many of you know that follow me, you know I am not a fan of Van Hagar, Van China. I don't like it at all, right? And I've had, you know, I mean, people want to argue with me. It's like, dude, just let me be, man. Love your Hagar and don't come to me tell me I'm wrong and because this is the reason you don't like it and that's the reason. Well, you know, a couple times I heard the reason was, yeah, you know, you can't get into it because Eddie played the keyboards, but you got to remember, he played keyboards in 1984, yet you won't complain about that. Yeah, you know, these Hagar tards or something else. All right, I'll talk about the keyboards in 1984, and let's see if anybody out there understands how I really don't care about keyboards. That as long as the song is good, hey, you add keyboards. If, if the song remains good, add keyboards. Many don't like jump. I love jump. But what I love even more than jump is I'll wait. Love the hell out of those two songs. Now, before any of you Hagar tards are like, yeah, 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 you're biased because, you know, it's Dave album with keyboards. You'll like it, but you won't like Sammy albums with keyboards. No, you're wrong. Because there are only two Vangina songs, which I have mentioned before on some videos. There are two Vangina songs I actually like. And one is a keyboard song from 5150. I love, not Dreams, that shit sucks. I love uh, Love Walks In. I do love it. I think it's a great song. And it's all keyboard out. I think everything else. Vangina's done sucked, except for Humans Being. Humans Being and Love Comes Walking In. Now, yeah, I'm the Vangina hater, but I guess you can say I have no shame. Because if I like something and it's from a band I can't stand, I can't, I can't lie. I like the damn song. Oh man, you hate Vangina, yet you like that crappy song? Yeah, yeah. You may think it's crappy, and I may agree with you too, but still, I like it. I like it a lot, and it has keyboards, you know? So it has nothing to do with Edward trying to play the keyboards and stuff, you know? It's just, I do not like Vangina. To me, it's not Van Halen. To me, the follow-up of 1984 was a different kind of truth. Some people have a problem with that album too. I love it. I love it. Every song, even Tattoo. I love the whole damn album. I love every damn song Van Halen has ever done except one little instrumental that starts 1984. And mind you, Sammy Hagar sucks. Yes, I need to, I need to mention this because I want to be that number one Sammy Hagar hater because, you know, hating Hagar makes me happy and nobody's going to take away my happiness. But yeah, Sammy Hagar sucks. And recently, Wolfgang, oh, oh, I got to bring this up. Wolfgang came out and said, hey, I think it's great Sammy Hagar is out there doing these Vangina songs. And the whole internet of, you know, the Van, Vangina tar, Tards. The, yeah, there, there you go. Vangina, Vangina Twats. That's their name. The Vangina Twats said, see, Wolfie's okay with it. Why aren't you? Hey. You know what? Uh, Wolfie speaks for us. I know he speaks for you because you're a dumb sheep. Unless Wolfie would say, oh man, no vagina stuff. Then you'd be bashing the guy. You know, so whatever, man. And, and, and by Wolfie saying, you know, oh, screw vagina. He shouldn't go out there and do that. I mean, that's how it sounds to us when he says, Yay, Vangina, thumbs up. We're like, ew. But I really don't care. That's cool. Wolfie's a nice kid. He's coming down here. I'm, 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 I'm thinking of going. But anyway, there you go. This is the only news that matters. And 
Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Let me know in the comments below. What's your favorite Van Halen album? Everybody out there, read all the comments afterwards. I guarantee you, most are going to say, fair warning. That's my prediction. And uh, please like this video. It's good for the YouTube algorithms. So stay frosty. Listen to Black Sabbath and smack them a cob. Farewell and adieu to you fair Spanish ladies. Farewell and adieu to you ladies of Spain. For we've received orders for to sail back to Boston. And so never more shall we see you again. <laughs>